Hi, this is Rollo with Winter Bros. In this video presentation, we're going to show you how to round the corners and add drop shadows to your own images. For this, for this video presentation, we're using the GIMP version 2.8.18. Uh, even if you have an older version or maybe a newer release, uh, should have the same functionality as we're going to show you in this demonstration. For the purposes of demonstration, we loaded this uh, flower image. We do recommend that before you start uh, messing around with images that you're going to uh, be adjusting that you make a backup copy or save it as a different file name when you uh, export it from GIMP. So we're going to start here. Uh, because you might want to use transparency, we're going to right click on the image file name in the uh, layers and we're going to add this alpha, cha alpha channel. And alpha channel's purpose is to uh, identify a, a transparency uh, layer that can be, I mean, color that can be used with the image. So that's very important if you're going to use it as a PNG or a GIF or some other uh, format and to get the best effect from the photo. So the next thing is with the image still select over in layers we're going to do select on the menu bar with all and that will bring in uh, the, the, little mar the marching ants. They're not moving right now but there you can see the selection box around the full image. Then we'll go over here and click the rectangle select and then once you do that go back over here and just click the middle of the image somewhere and you'll see now we have the uh, selection handles are all in here when we move the mouse around. So once you've done that, we're going to go back over here into the tools and you're going to select the uh, rounded corners option here. And when that comes up, you'll get this little radius bar. Uh, you can use the little up and down arrows here. You can double click on here and put an actual number or you can just use the uh, slider bar. And we're going to use a slider bar for this instance. So we'll grab here and you see if you look in the image in the viewport over there, you'll see that the uh, selection is changing to some rounded corners as we adjust this size. We're going to go ahead and go away the max. Uh, so then once you've got the, si the corners the way you want them defined, uh, the next step is you're going to want to invert that selection because we're actually going to delete the corners. We don't want to delete the image itself, which is right now in the middle. So we'll do select, invert, and now just the corners are actually selected. And we'll do, uh, you can hit the delete key or you can just go up here and you can uh, hit clear and it'll take them out of the corners for you. You can see now you can go select none. You can see now we have a nice rounded image, a rounded corners on this image, excuse me. So the next step is how to add drop shadows. Well we still have our image selected over here. So the next thing is we'll go up here to filters. We're going to go light and shadow and we're going to select the drop shadow filter. Now you can play around these settings, the offset X will be left and right where you want the shadow to appear. Normally it's to the right side, so a positive values be to the right, negative values to the left of the image. The offset Y is up and down, and since uh, it's, it's the same thing, negative values make the shadow be above the image, positive values below the image. And the reason these are both uh, defaulted to positive is because most shadows will fall in an image to the right and the and the bottom so but you can make them anywhere that fits your project what you need so we're going to go ahead and set these to to the to a size of 10 and and you can play around with all these settings but basically whatever you make these uh, we recommend you probably just make the uh, radius which are the uh, the blur radius which are basically the size of the shadow it's going to be uh, that's how big the size of the shadow is going to be and then of course you can select a color by clicking here and of course you can check the button, select the opacity which is uh, how much the blur is solid or, or see-through. So we're going to set this one over here to about 80 and we'll just go ahead and allow resizing because uh, the size of our image don't have any place for the shadow so this will make the image resize automatically to fit the shadow. So then we'll go ahead and do that we hit click OK sized image uh, with a shadow around it. And you can see over here it's added a drop shadow box in the uh, layers. Now oh, it's kind of hard to see with the little checkerboard that uh, uh, GIMP uses for transparency. So what we're going to do real quick, we're going to go ahead and add a new layer of white. And then we'll move it down to the bottom. And now you can see that shadow effect that's been added to this uh, image. So, of course, you'd want to delete the white. Uh, we just have it there for that. So once you do that, we'll take our white back out. You can uh, just save this as a GIMP file and then export it afterwards. You could go ahead and uh, export it as a uh, PNG. Or 
you if you want uh, if you, you like what you got you can just go ahead and right click on the flower image or excuse me your original image and you merge down which will bring it back to one layer and you can just export it as a whatever the new name is you want to call it that concludes this video presentation on uh, making rounded corners and drop shadows for your images uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please visit our website at www.winterbros.com or if you uh, like us, please uh, give us a thumbs up and like us on Facebook or YouTube. And we're also on Twitter Have and Pinterest also. Have a great day.